it's going to sound a little cliche, uh, but right there is the reason I do everything that I do. Um, it's to go on beautiful holidays. Yes, I had to take the one day long, but that's okay. The view was amazing. No, of course, I'm kidding. Um, I do it for my family. Uh, my son was born um, in October in 2020, uh, in the uh, midst of the pandemic. Um, and yeah, it was, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, and um, he's the boss now, so everything I do, I do for him. Um, people don't know this about me, but I'm actually a qualified engineer. I did that for about a month. And then I got a job at a, at a marketing agency, and the rest is history. Um, in in 2000 and, uh, 2021, I decided to go, go out on my own, um, and yeah, it's, it's been a great journey ever since. So SEO. When I try and explain SEO to clients or potential clients, um, what, that's one, it's one of the hardest things I have to do because uh, when I start talking about it, people look at me like I'm speaking a foreign language. Um, it's because SEO has a uh, Pretty mild history. It's got a, it's, yeah, it's, it's got a very interesting history, and a lot of people have a lot of misinformation around it. Um, but the truth is, it doesn't have to be technical. It doesn't have to be that complicated. It's quite easy. I'm going to show you guys a very modest case study. It's nothing huge, nothing groundbreaking, but just to show you what SEO can do uh, for a business. Um, so, this is a gaming simulator company that I started working with in May. Uh, so they actually were doing fantastically with paid traffic. Um, so they were, they were running Facebook ads and Google ads to their, to their business. He came up to me and he asked me, what can we do to, to increase, uh, increase traffic a bit more? And we started, uh, we started the SEO campaign in May. Now you can't see it properly on here because the screen isn't blown up, but basically the blue line is the results from uh, May to, to today, so roughly five months. And then the one before that is prior. Um, basically, his organic traffic since we started um, has gone up 127%. Uh, again, nothing groundbreaking, but in terms of dollar values to this client, um, he had no conversions prior to this, no conversions to the space prior to this. Um, and since he's got $22,000 just for this one page and this one cluster of keywords that we're optimizing for. We're optimizing for hundreds of keywords uh, for several pages and most of them are looking exactly like this. So this one page is paid for his SEO campaign today, and we're doing several more for it. Um, so what is SEO? SEO is the process of optimizing your website to get free organic traffic from Google, from the search engine. So Google, uh, Bing, YouTube, uh, and Yahoo are some of the common ones. No one really uses Yahoo, but I needed four to make the slide look even. <laughs> So this is, this is an example of a Google search. So Lloyd Parramatta, Kalyani, gets 1,000 searches a month. Um, that's an example of a paid ad. So you pay every time someone clicks on that. That's an example of the Google organic uh, maps listings. So they're organic. That's something that I work on. And then below that is the organic listings, which is your website. So um, SEO is pushing your website to the top of the listings. Um, so we've got. So what is SEO? SEO is free organic traffic. The results are cumulative. So the more, the more you work on your SEO, the more your organic traffic increases. Google wants you to do SEO, but they don't want you to do SEO. Now the reason for that is Google wants you to pay to play. You have to pay to do Google Ads, that's how they make all their money. But for their product to be successful, they need to deliver the best results, the best websites to, to customers, to people doing searches. So that's the organic results. So SEO is about providing quality websites um, and a quality user experience to, to the users and basically that allows us to boost, boost your website in the Google organic uh, search engine and lets you get to the top. Now Google doesn't let us know exactly what it is that we need to do to, uh, to rank at the top. The reason for that is they don't want you to know how to do SEO exactly. Because if you knew how to do it, you're not gonna pay that. And that's why I get to charge what I charge. Because it's very hard to do SEO well, um, and it takes, it, takes, it takes a bit of work. Um, so why SEO is a must for any business? Your customers are searching for your business solutions on Google. So every day, there's five billion searches that happen on Google. Every minute, there's three million searches that happen. So chances are that people are searching for your product or solution online. Um, by not showing up, you're actually missing out on some of the highest converting traffic 
that you could possibly get. Because the search intent for someone searching in Google for a keyword or a solution is very different to someone uh, showing up, clicking on your ad on Facebook, for instance, where it's interruption marketing, they don't know about your business, and you have to educate them. Um, so even if you came up with the most random product, um, it's new on the market, it's the next big, big thing, but no one knows about it, chances are there are people searching for your solution, they just don't know about you yet. Um, so you can optimize for keywords around that solution, and then you can educate your market through, uh, through Google SEO. Um, SEO traffic is more likely to convert than other sources. So as I mentioned, the buy intent for Google search is much higher than Facebook. Now, if you think about it, you get advertised to on Facebook a lot. Um, Facebook is, they're very good at targeting because they know your interest, but you're, you're much early on in the sale, sale cycle or you don't even, you're not even looking for this, this product that you see on Facebook. Whereas if you go on Google, it's something that you're looking for. You're looking for a solution and you're ready to spend money on that solution depending on the keyword. Uh, small businesses are, are reporting a eight times high conversion rate uh, for SEO than other forms of traditional advertising such as print and direct mail. Um, if you want high converting traffic for your digital marketing efforts, SEO is where it should be one of the top things you consider. Uh, SEO will actually decrease your custom acquisition costs over time. So if it, the reason it decreases the cost of acquiring a new client is once you rank, you stay ranking. So assuming that you're not hit by a big Google algorithm update or all three of your competitors below you don't work you, you should generally stay ranking for the keywords that you rank for, which means that that keyword is going to continue to give you traffic and you're not paying any more for that. Um, the biggest reason people don't invest in SEO is because it takes too long. Now I hear this often. The case study I showed you earlier was five months in the making, but is traffic actually increased about month two or three to that particular page. Um, an effective SEO campaign can take up to six months till you start seeing results. As I said, the one I showed you was five months. Uh, wh why would it take so long? So Google needs time to trust your website. If a new person releases, creates a new website every day and they just rank the new websites as soon as they go live, um, the, web, the, the search engine will be filled with clutter. So Google needs to trust you. You need to put in the work for them to actually trust that you are who you say you are and you can do what you say you can do. Um, it allows you to compete with the big boys. So by having a long-term strategy and actually thinking about what you're doing and being deliberate with your SEO strategy, you can compete with people with a much larger budget. Um, it's not an overnight solution, which means that only real companies or real businesses are going to be able to compete. Um, so it takes, discipline, uh, it takes discipline and time to have a strong SEO presence in Google. SEO is too expensive. Um, in the wrong, I do agree with this. In the wrong hands, SEO can be very expensive. The reason being is you could decide to go with someone, uh, even if you go with the cheapest quote, it, it takes six months for you to see the results of that campaign. So you could be paying this guy over six months, and at the end of the six months, you have nothing to show for it. And actually, when, then you come to someone else who actually knows what they're doing. They've got to undo all the work the other person did. And then you then and then restart working from scratch. So it actually becomes way more expensive if you do it that way. But in the right hands, um, SEO can be the most cost-effective form of uh, traffic to your website, um, other than referral marketing. Um, so some keys to developing a killer SEO strategy: choose your keywords carefully, determine the keywords that you want to rank for, choose keywords based on the relevance to your business the volume of that keyword and the competitiveness. Um, you should also choose your keywords carefully based on the buyer intent. So by, for the example I gave you before, um, we're ranking him for Golf Simulator, but we're also ranking him for buying Golf Simulator online. Those keywords have two very different intents. Someone searching for Golf Simulator could just be looking for a Golf Simulator to go and you know just drive some golf balls in the city, where someone searching for buy Golf Simulator online is ready to make a purchase. Uh, make sure that the words that you want to rank for actually search for at Google, so that's the volume. I'm going to give you another case study. This is a YouTube client of mine. Um, now, we started in late 2019. Uh, over Since that time, they've got 2.6 million views to their YouTube channel. The buy intent for the keywords that we rank for is very high. It's all solutions-based um, key keywords around the service that they offer. So, us, after us starting this YouTube channel, that company has grown 
by multiple figures. The team's grown by multiple. I was the single marketing person in their team and now there's in the marketing team alone, there's six people working. So that's just from a single YouTube strategy. Um, key two, help Google understand your website. So focus on your on-page optimization. I'm just gonna wrap it up now. <laughs> that was so much um, focus on your on-page optimization and those are the things to focus on. Um, help Google trust your website. So Google needs to be able to trust your website and trust that you are who you say you are and you do what you say you can do. You can do that by uh, schema markup, author profiles, relevant backlinks and directory sites and citing highly relevant sources in your content. Um, now I'm gonna do a giveaway. This is really random, but it's a side hustle for little pet project that I started for my <laughs> wife when we uh, when she was pregnant. Um, so it's a pet portrait. Um, it's valued at $99. Uh, Do you draw them? We have an artist that draws them. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you send a picture of your pet in and we'll send this out to you. So, awesome. Aww. Um, Aww. That's a fly on the line. I've got a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, finish. So, um, so if you can name two key uh, keys to develop a killer SEO strategy. I, I named three of them. And Great keywords. Yes. Oh, that's one. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Use that. 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 Use